Good morning. morning. Um, it's Holy Saturday, um, the day after Jesus has died on the cross and Jesus is dead. Um, there's themes in out scripture um, that help us to understand um, what it means for Jesus to be in the tomb, mm -hmm. for Jesus to have died. And uh, we know what it is to face death and the death of a loved one. Um, and the Bible talks about death being our enemy, that it's um, God's enemy and that death is um, something that isn't um, right. It's um, a part of the curse. And um, when we think about Jesus going into death, um, Cyril of Alexandria, he called it um, death's cruel empire, that when Jesus enters the domain of death, he's entering into something horrendous, that it's not benign, that, that it's um, all the powers of darkness, um, both the results of our sin, and the results of, of living in a fallen world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think sometimes it's is as horrific and terrible as death is, we can get almost almost callous to it. Um, but it's certainly not a part of God's original plan in, in the creation. It entered it entered through sin. It entered through the curse, and you know Jesus, as it says, I think in. Uh, in Hebrews that he tasted death for us. Um, and, and through that, he was able to, um, he was able to defeat death. Um, but and while this does end in a great, you know, victory that we have much hope in, uh, we also need to realize that we are in the middle of the, the you know, the already, but not yet. Mm -hmm. Jesus has been victorious, but he did suffer um, an immense, an immense blow and immense death and um you know he one of the things that sets or that sets christianity apart from from other religions right is we have a god who is who is truly with us he truly is emmanuel mm -hmm. and he wasn't just emmanuel and being alive on the earth with with people with his creation he's even like emmanuel in his death mm -hmm. um and he has he's gone to the very the very worst things that, mm -hmm. that can be it can be um that can be imagined all right it's like how cory ten boom said like there's there's no pit so deep that god's love is not deeper still because god um in entering sheol and in in entering into the darkness of death he um he's experienced the, the depth of it. Hebrews talks about how he's tasted death for everyone. So there's um, no horror that um, is outside of what God um, can enter into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there's this really powerful story that um, a guy by the name of uh, Shane Claiborne uh, recently shared and he, he lives in Philadelphia and he knew this teenager who had been killed in, in, in gun violence. And a few days after his death, um, they were having a vigil to, to honor his life. And um, the young man's mom in the middle of, of the vigil as they're, as they're praying, you know, and seeking God in the midst of their, their pain. Um, this young man's mom cries out she says, I've got it. And they said, what? And she says, God knows what it's like to lose his boy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and on the cross, Jesus cries out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that is the depth that to into human suffering, into our suffering, into our pain, into our darkness, that Jesus went, mm -hmm. um, that even he, you know, felt utter darkness he felt mm -hmm. forsaken um, and, by and, god yeah and and like because of that 
you know, we've, like I mentioned earlier, we've all experienced people we know dying. We've experienced hearing about death around us. And God, our Father, not only does Jesus identify with us by dying, but God identifies with the grief that we experience of of watching that, of watching his son die. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, you see how really the Old Testament's point to um, point to this reality of, of Holy Saturday. Mm -hmm. I think about um, in Psalms 23, where it talks about um, when, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even so you're with me. And <laughs> Jesus walked through the valley of the shadow of death. And so that's how we know that he's with us. Mm -hmm. Um, and we look forward to the resurrection. We look forward to God, um, the work that he started in bring, bringing down the enemy. Um, that work that he began on Holy Saturday um, or on the cross, really, and that he um, secures through the resurrection and promises now through our coming re resurrection and redemption. Um, the end of um, all this pain and destruction, um, we can we can look forward to that, um, even as we um, have the pangs of it of it still with us. Amen. Right, because through his death, he he he's 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 canceled our debt, and he has put the authorities to open shame, mm -hmm. um, a triumphant over them in the cross, and so um, yeah, he's with us through all that, mm -hmm. and. Thanks be to him for that. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, happy uh, Holy Saturday. Thank you for, uh, for sharing this time with us this morning. Easter's coming.